What is going on everybody? You're probably watching this video for one of two reasons. The first reason, maybe you broke your mono leaf spring already and you're looking to replace it. Or two, you've seen the issues online and you want to get ahead of the problem and that's what we're doing today. Uh, uh, this particular boat is a 2020 Tracker 190 and it comes with a mono leaf spring which is pretty much known to fail. And to get ahead of that, you can swap it out for a pretty commonly available multi-leaf pack. And so what we're going to do today is swap it out with a three-leaf pack that I picked up from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, and let's get to it. All right, let's get started with the springs I'm using, as well as some of the initial tools we're going to start with. These springs are from Amazon. Like I mentioned, they are three-leaf packs. So you'll find some are four. I went with three because... I could probably maintain my stock U-bolts, and I also don't want to have an overly stiff spring rate. It's a little bouncy with the monoleaf. I don't want to go too rigid because then I'm pretty much shock loading everything. I want to make sure I have enough give, and I also don't want to raise the trailer any more than I have to, right? Because that means you're going to have to put more trailer in the water to float the boat off of it. And so I'm going to start with the three leaf pack and see how that goes. These were about 90 something bucks for the pair. These are uh, 25 and one quarter inch eye to eye. They are rated to 1800 pounds per spring. So for the set, I'm good up to 3600 pounds. I have already sprayed everything down with uh, some penetrant to make sure that, you know, things come off as easily as they can. Socket wise, I've got a deep uh, 3 8 5 8 a 3 8 ratchet 5 8 socket. I've got another 3 8 13 16 and another 3 8 7 8 To get the wheel off, you're going to need a 3 quarter, a 13 16 and a 3 quarter. Obviously a 3 8 ratchet, as well as a, a hammer to tap things around. This is a brass hammer, so I may be able to tap on threads and stuff to get things moving, and it's not going to hurt them at all. And of course, you will need a floor jack and jack stands. Next thing we're going to do, jack it up, get the wheel off. Let me show you what we're working with. So here you can see the horrible mono leaf and how it comes, just a single leaf. So the process is going to be to take these U-bolts out. These guys right here, there's four of them. I'm going to take these guys out and then we got to get the leaf spring bolts out here. We'll keep the shackle in place. We may have to loosen it up to get the new one in and out. And then we have the front hanger here and we'll take this guy out, bolt and everything. So that's going to be the process. All right, so we are gonna start with the U-bolts. Go ahead and take the axle loose. And you kinda of wanna loosen these somewhat evenly, especially if they're rusty at all, so you don't overload one of them. Once you kinda of get them all loose, then you can go ahead and run them off. But you don't wanna run off all at the same time. And same thing when you tighten it. Make sure that you tighten them kinda of in a cross pattern snug it up evenly or you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, now that everything's kind of loose, it's loose, we can go ahead and run them off without worrying about anything. No real orientation here. Should be symmetrical, so I'm not too worried about that. And these are all in great shape. There's no need to replace them unless your leaf spring pack is a lot thicker and you got to make sure you have enough thread at the end of it. So this is now loose. See this guy's just kind of hanging out. We're going to take the floor jack, put it underneath just to kind of support it so don't have to worry about it while I take out the leaf spring bolts. Now we're going to attack these bolts. I don't know if you can see them with the light the way it is, but we're going to get this guy. So we'll see if we can break it loose. Oh, it's already kind of loose. Isn't that great? That's kind of a weird nut. It's really small. Let's try a double wrench. Okie doke. That one is loose and pretty. We're just going to kind of leave it in there so it's not flopping around. So this front bolt is not turning. And what's kind of special about it, and I've seen a video where a guy like yeah, really torqued it and basically stripped it but you'll notice on this bolt there's a little tiny it's worn off actually from being loose there's splines on it and those splines are probably grabbing into this front bracket keeping it from spinning so I'm not going to try and turn it until I knock it in a little bit and I bet it turns after that let's see if we can get that done again I'm using a brass hammer 
so I can hit these threads without worrying about it. If you don't have a brass hammer, uh, that's fine. Use a block of wood or something to keep from marring up the threads. There we go. Yep. And this one's still intact here. There's your spring. Again, you can see the splines on here. That knurling and the splines are going to keep this guy supposed to keep it tight. This one's a little bit wallered out. That's a Texas term. And uh, there's one spring out. It's been, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. All right, so we are going in with the new. We'll get this started. Get this guy kind of lined up. All right, so both bolts are in. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these up with it off the ground. That's typically a bad that's typically bad advice for working on any type of suspension, but since these are nylon bushings, there's no memory to them, so I'm not worried about uh, twisting it like you would with a, a rubber bushing of any sort. If yours are rubber bushed for some reason, you want to torque them with weight on the axle so they're not constantly twisted. And so we're going to go ahead and snug them up now. All right, now on these, I'm going kind of a German torque spec, good and tight. Those are 9 16 bolts. You're not going to hurt them. Let's go ahead and drop the axle. Gotta make sure you get that pin lined up. These guys go, let me see, over. A washer. Now these are not huge U-bolts. I know it's a, it's easy to tempt yourself to really torque them down, but I think they're only like a 3 8 uh, Maybe a, I think they're like a 3 8 Don't go crazy on torquing them. I'll look up the torque spec and I'll put it on here, but it's probably in like the 30 foot pound range. Don't go crazy on it. Let's snap them clean off. Again, kind of tighten them up in a crisscross pattern. Make sure everything gets kind of nice and seated. You don't want one really long one and one really short one. A calibrated elbow says that's about enough. And we'll check these once we go down the road a little bit. Like that. That's how you put a new leaf spring on. Uh, the other side is just going to be uh, the exact same process. So we won't walk you through that. We're going to go ahead and put the wheel on. We'll probably check our bearings while we're here. That's not a bad idea. I know it kind of got a leaky seal, so I'm going to have to take care of that sooner than later. If you found this helpful, please hit like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out this video coming right up, and we'll see you next time.